My name is Bridget, and I was diagnosed with breast cancer when I was 26 years old. I started working at the Life Enrichment Centre in Oyster Bay. It's a senior centre. I run the Daybreak program, which is a day program for people with dementia and Alzheimer's to come to every day. I started working there in June of 2018, and shortly after, in September, I was diagnosed with stage two hormone receptor positive breast cancer. I felt most worried immediately after diagnosis, before I had a treatment plan because Jenny was a year and a half and she knew who I was. She could say mama and she preferred me over everybody. And I thought to myself initially, if she didn't have a mom growing up, there wasn't enough time with her that she'd be able to remember me. Like there would be no memory of me for her. So I really struggled with the idea that she could grow up someday and know that she had a mom, but didn't really remember her. Four days before my 27th birthday, I had a bilateral mastectomy, which most people get six to eight weeks off of um, work because of a Family Medical Leave Act. You can take up to 12 weeks off of work if you've been working there for 12 months. I had only been working at my job for three months, so I had two weeks vacation and that was it. I took two and a half weeks off of work, had Thanksgiving, had my port put in the day before Thanksgiving, had that weekend and was back at work the following Monday. So from then on out, any day I took off, I was unpaid. And we are like two thirds of America that we live paycheck to paycheck. We were a young couple, 26, he was 30, and my daughter was a year and a half. We just got on our feet at this point. Our daughter was in daycare four days a week and just the regular baby expenses, diapers, food, you know, we were still getting accustomed to that part of life. You know, I knew Bridget, she's, she's strong. I knew she was gonna make it through just fine, but just to, take the little moments and, and try and cherish them. As a father, as a husband, you know, I tried to do my part in, in keeping my daughter happy and taking care of her, taking care of both of them. I just tried my best. I can't imagine how we would have bought food or <laughs> paid our mortgage or, you know, we equally contribute to our family's finances. So for me not to work would have just been absolutely impossible. We also thought, our daughter's world is upside down right now. And while she didn't really know that, um, I mean, her world was changing around her. I looked much different and she shockingly was not affected by my appearance. Um, she did know like after surgery, I couldn't pick her up, which was very hard for me. Little things were changing and the thought that we would potentially be changing her daycare because it was too expensive, it was heart-wrenching. So with Pink Aid's assistance that we didn't have to change, it really settled us that we could keep her there. She could continue to go into her familiar place with her friends. It really was just so amazing. The monthly daycare payment was, was a big chunk of our expense. Um, you know, groceries, it is what it is. We'll, you know, cut back a little bit here and there, gas. Um, but to know that my daughter was taken care of for the next month, getting the bill paid, it was a huge weight lifted off the shoulder uh, of both of us. We were just in such shock and awe, but like beyond grateful for this donation. It really relieved so much for us. Sometimes when you're donating, to big things, you don't really know where it's going. But when you donate to Pink Aid, it's, it's going to your neighbor, it's going to your sister, it's going to your mother, it's going to your daughters, it's going to everyday people that just need that little extra help.